glory. Y'all give it up for the legendary Cody Clark. Easy concepts.
Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the program. This is DJ KB Top Online Radio UK. It is time, it is time for In His Presence. This is our evening Christian broadcast program we do with Reverend Jacob van der Poy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I believe you are well and ready for tonight. We are coming to hear the Word of God and also we will pray. We started. Um, Reverend uh, Van der Poy started teaching about uh, breaking evil orders, breaking evil orders, and uh, tonight we are going to continue. Hopefully, God willing, we will be able to finish um, the topic. We are streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also um, listen to us on our website and our uh, mobile app. The station is Top Online Radio UK. I welcome you to the program. Please, please, when you come online, share the gospel by sharing the video. It is very, very important. Just, you know, click the share button and share to your contact groups, your friends, for them to also hear the word of God and also partake in every blessing that uh, this pro program brings your way. Right, let me welcome Reverend Minister. Uh, welcome to the program, God's, um, in His presence. <laughs> in His presence. Um, I believe you are well. How is the ministry doing, sir? Right, Reverend, I think uh, let me uh, up your microphone. Okay. Yes, yes, now you are better now. Okay. Okay. So okay. I was asking her, how is the ministry, the network, the family, and everything? Oh, God is in charge. The messages of God are new every morning. Amen. We are kept by the Holy Spirit. We are doing Amen. well. Yourself? Amen. By His grace, by the same grace, we are doing great. His mercies are bound for us. Mm. We are thankful. We are grateful. Reverend, uh, last week um, uh, you were treating breaking evil orders. Breaking yeah. evil orders. And um, I believe we were not able to finish that one. So hopefully we will to finish. And today, today um, I also pray that you will pray for our, our listeners and viewers. Amen. To help break any evil authors that are speaking against Amen. our lives, that are speaking Amen. against our destinies. Amen. So that is the, the prayer topic from the beginning. So that <laughs> Amen. 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 Take it away, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you, DJ KB. Thank you, Top Online. As usual, dearly beloved, we are on the program in his presence fullness of joy i hope and i believe god you are doing well may the grace of god be extended to you we welcome you on the program and we want to encourage you share the link the facebook link and the and the uh, and you you too so that others yes. may be connected to the program Dearly beloved, 
It is the wish of God that all of us will prosper and be in earth, even as our souls prosper. So tonight, we are in the presence of God. And tonight, we share the word of God with you. And tonight, we pray for every one of us that the Lord will extend his hand of fellowship unto us. That every yoke, every entanglement will be broken. Breaking evil altars. Altars can be things in your heart. Altar we know in the sanctuary. A, a place set where uh, only, only things are done. Altar can be a behavior. Something that uh, connects you. A place or an occasion or a, 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 a attitude. So anything that is not pleasing in the sight of God, tonight we take authority in the name of Jesus and we say that any uh, altar of evil be broken. Father, in the name of Jesus, we tear down altars that separates us from the love of God. Amen. We bring down every behavioral attitude that connects us to the devil. We pray that every shrine, everything that they, they call our name and, and make uh, incantations be broken. May the power of God take preeminence tonight. Every limitation be taken off our shoulders. Lord, Amen. anoint my tongue like the pen of the ready writer so that Amen. I will not speak the enticing words of man's wisdom. But your power, your anointing will be demonstrated tonight. Amen. May they not hear the voice of a man, the voice of Jacob, but may the oracles of God speak through me in past and clear to reach every home. I come to your home with the spirit of God. May the spirit of God be poured upon your head. May Amen. the spirit of God take preeminence. We break every routine of the enemy. Amen. We call upon the Lord that every orchestration of the enemy, every generational plantation, Something that they have planted in your home, in your family, that is a retrogressing family members. By the hand of God, by the intuition of the Holy Spirit, and by the appropriation of the blood, the blood of Jesus that breaks all yokes. Yokes are being broken tonight. If you will submit your spirit, your soul, and your body to God, God will make a spiritual surgery in your life. Your eyes of understanding be flooded with light. May God cause you to see the light and come out of the darkness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as we share your word, may your word be a word that will be heard by your people, will be meditated upon by your people. We shall not be hearers only, but we shall be doers of your word. The Lord bless you. The countenance of the Lord rests upon you from this very moment. And whatsoever Amen. you do, prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are welcome once again. Last week, we started talking about breaking of evil altars. We want to tear down every limitation, everything that has been erected knowingly or unknowingly, which is not pleasing in the sight of God. Everything we place ahead of God, shrines, Temples that uh, the, the people pe believe in lesser gods and they call on those gods and those gods are becoming impediments and are ruining in, in communities. Territorial spirits. 
principalities, rulers of darkness, powers, spiritual wickedness, by the finger of God be broken tonight. Amen. All just represent the uh, occasion and places where we have had a personal encounter with God. Amen. It can be a good author, and a good author will bring you promotion. And I pray that the altars that are erected in your life, the altars that are connected with your family, be an altar that brings forward going, be an altar that brings advancement, be an altar that releases the shakana glory of the Lord into your life. We may not mm -hmm. always be able to make a physical altar, but it can be, it can be from our hearts. Physically, you will say, I don't have something that I pour oil on it or something that I worship. But something may not be right, may be against the principles of God and it's written at the tablet of your heart. We bound it in the name of Jesus. May we cultivate the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, against it there is no law. Amen. And the fruit of the Spirit is love, is joy, is peace, is meekness, is gentleness, is kindness, is faithfulness, is patience, and is long-suffering. There are nine of them. May we not cultivate the, uh, the, the lust of the flesh. Father, tonight, every altar be broken. And we saw that uh, in Judges chapter 6, the children of Israel did what was evil in the sight of God. And when you do evil, it's a kind of altar you are creating. Evil attracts the devil. Evil brings out the Satan in you. And evil causes Satan to dominate your life. So when the people of the children of Israel did what was evil, I will give a, a short uh, a recap. They did what was evil in the sight of God. And the Bible says God delivered them into the hands of the Midianites. And the, Midian, uh, the Midianites for seven years, they took control of all Israel. And when they plant their crops and the crops were ready to be harvested, they come in their numbers, the Amalekites, the Midianites, and their, uh, and their camels. They come in the form of grasshoppers and they deprive them of everything. They were in, uh, uh, impoverished. And they be, became a shadow of themselves. May you not be a shadow of yourself because of evil. Lord, we pray tonight that you will forgive us of the evil things we've done. The things that are uh, depriving you, uh, depriving you of the love of God and of the favor of God. Tonight, Amen. by the appropriation of the precious blood of Jesus, we cancel and negate, we take authority, and we pray that if you will submit every fiber of your being to God, you are sanctified. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. the Israelites became shadows of themselves. And there was this guy, Gideon, the son of Joash, of the Abistrites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him when he was treading a wheat to hide in the wine press for the fear of the Midianites. Man of God, um, please, can you adjust your camera a bit, um, the top a bit towards you? Towards me, okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's thank you. It's okay. Thank you. So the 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 angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon. 
Joash's son. And the angel greeted him, O oh, mighty man of value, mighty man of value, because uh, the a uh, uh, the aim was to appoint somebody who would deliver the Israelites. Gideon became the mighty warrior. In their, in their conversation, Gideon says, I, I come from a poor family. I, I come from Manasseh. My family is the poorest and I'm the weakest. But yeah, he, he went on and the angel showed him a sign. He made a ready kid and an unliving cake. And the angel said, put it by the rock. And the angel stretched forth his hand and fire quenched the, uh, uh, the, 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 the mill. And when we read from uh, 24, I will read. We said 25, but I will read from Judges 6, 25, 24 to 26. So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it the Lord is peace. Hallelujah. Because the, the mm -hmm. angel of the Lord showed to him that he has been sent by God. May God send to you. May mm -hmm. God reveal the deep things unto you. He has been greeted that the peace of God be for you and God is with you. That is your portion tonight. The mm -hmm. peace of God that passes all understanding be upon somebody tonight. Mm -hmm. And he says, so Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and call it the Lord is peace. To this day, it is still his offer of the Abistrites. Now, 25, it came to pass the same night that the Lord said to uh, Gideon, we read it, he said to Gideon, take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, and tear down the altar of Baal, that your father has. The father was idol worshiper. The father has erected an altar and he worshiped from the altar. Look, at, look out, uh, uh, what faith will it take to destroy your father's altar? But he was convinced. Tonight be convinced that there is no power compared to the power of God. When you are convinced and when God is with you, you will be able to do all things and no power by any means will stand against you. So he did as the Lord did, uh, directed him and cut down the wooden image that is beside it. 26, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this rock in the proper arrangement. May God cause you to have a proper arrangement for your life. Amen. When there is proper arrangement for your life, it allows the Spirit of God to operate in your life. So we are breaking every evil altar every altar that is not of God, as we break it down, as we tear it down by the invocation of the blood, by the mm -hmm. appropriation of the blood, Christ mm -hmm. in you, which is the hope of glory, ah, the enemy cannot withstand you anymore. So mm -hmm. that was what Gideon did. And he did it and built an altar of, uh, of the Lord in the rock, in the proper arrangement and take the second bull and offer a bench sacrifice with the wood of the image which you shall cut down so uh, 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 Gideon was instructed and he did it and we saw that in the morning Gideon was not very courageous and it can happen to anybody at all. So he took 10 men in the night 
and they did it by night. So in the morning, they saw that their, 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 their god, Asra, has been uh, demolished. So the elders were trying to find out who did that uh, 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 tearing down of our altar. And we saw what they saw there. When they were told that he is the son of Gideon, he is the son of Joas, Gideon, sorry, he did it. They had wanted to bring Gideon to be stoned or to be killed by the people. But we saw 28, 29, 30, we saw that the father said, if you say Baal is God, do you fight for a God? Nobody in this right sense will say, I will fight for a God. So let the God be. Let the God fight for himself. God will tear down the enemies of your life. Every barrier-breaking anointing be deposited in your life tonight. May there be a release of the power of God. May that be a release of the impartation of God. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, there was the altar of Baal torn down. Every altar that stands against you will be torn down. Every barrier in your family be broken tonight. May there be the barrier-breaking anointing, the altar-breaking anointing deposited in your DNA. For power is coming from the Lord. The Lord will cause you to be a deliverer. Gideon was called by God. And Gideon, as, as much as he thought he was not powerful. The power of God came upon him. And tonight, may God anoint you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and when the men of the city arose early in the morning, there was the altar of Baal torn down and the wooden image that was beside it cut down. We cut down. We uproot. Amen. We cancel every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. It is not Amen. by your might. It is not by your power. But the Spirit of God be injected on this platform. The Spirit of God be injected into your life. So that every limitation, every uh, altar of the enemy, altar of gossip, altar of enmity, altar of biting, altar, all things that they try to hate, be cast down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So they said to one another, who has done this? And they were told it was Gideon. And when they had wanted that Gideon be brought to books, the father who was an idol worshiper like them, the Lord will turn your heart from the evil worship. The Amen. heart of the uh, father has been turned already. And he said, if Baal be God, let him fight for himself. If the God that they, they have sent to destroy us is really God, let God arise against them. The power of God will absolutely take control. So it went on and finally Gideon in in 33, 34, therefore, uh, 32, therefore on that day he called him Jeroboam. Jeroboam saying that let Baal plead against himself because he has torn down his altar. Oh, I, I see the altars that stands against families. 
being pulled mm -hmm. down. Right? I see the power of God catapulting uh, uh, men in the family because men are the head of family. Parents, they are being catapulted by the power of God. And the anointing of God is speaking expressly into your heart. Do not harden your heart. A harden heart is an altar. So we break adding hearts. Those who are adding their heart, they will not receive anything by God. But tonight I present to you Christ. He who died. Who, who was buried, rose again the third day, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father. Hallelujah. Christ is sitting at the right hand of God the Father. So, let Baal fight for himself. They're all, therefore, then all the Midianites and the Amalekites, the people of the east, gathered together and they crossed over and then camped in the valley of Jezra. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon. The Spirit of the Lord come upon you tonight. Amen. The Spirit of God anoint you. The Spirit of God deliver you from the hands of the enemy. Amen. The Spirit of God free you from every spoken word. The Spirit of God set you free from every entanglement of the enemy. Amen. The Spirit of God will make a public show of the enemy that agitates your family, of the enemy that creates confusion in your family. The hand Amen. of God will direct your step. By the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and then he blew the trumpet, and the Jezreelites gathered behind him. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Blow the trumpet in your home. I hear the trumpet sound. I hear God free, freeing the people of, 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 his, of his kingdom. I hear Amen. the tears being revoked. Amen. I hear the altars that were erected by your generation, your ancestors, without you knowing, being broken. In the realm of the spirit, there is liberty. Who the son of man or the son of Christ set free is free indeed. Somebody say, I am free. I am, I am set free. free from the entanglement of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And he sent messengers throughout Malachi to gather the other tribes. So Gideon was to honor the invitation of God. God says you will deliver the Israelites from the hands of the Midianites. So tonight, Gideon has for a sign again. He wasn't fully convinced. So from 36, he said, 36, he said, the sign of the fleece. Is DJ okay to read 36? Or should yes, I go? sir. Uh, yes, sir. So it's Judges. 36. 36 to 40, then we shoot off. All right. Judges chapter Six verse thirty six onwards. Thank you. Chapter six, verse thirty six. Right. I read. Say the, the the sign of the fleece. Yeah. The sign of the fleece. So Gideon said to God, "If you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, look, I shall put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor." If there is dew on the fleece only, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so, when he rose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece together, 
he wrung the dew out of the fleece in a bowl full of water. Then Gideon said to God, Do not be angry with me, <laughs> but let me speak just once more. Let me test, I pray, just once more with the fleece. Let it now be dry only on the fleece, but on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, but there was dew on all the ground. Amen. Amen. Give your hearts for a sign. Oh, child of God, there's nothing wrong about you asking for a sign from the Lord. He said, when I put the fleece on the, the ground, let there be water on the fleece and the ground be dry. And in the morning, when he, 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 he squeezed the fleece, there was a bowl full of water. Yet he wasn't convinced. He said, Lord, hold your peace. Lord, do not be annoyed with me. In your prayer closet, you want God to prove himself to you. May God prove himself to you the way you will understand. In any breaking of order, anything that you are afraid to go forward and do or to ignore, ask God for enablement. May God enable us tonight that we will be mm -hmm. able and God will give us direction and instruction and God will cause us to identify the evil authors and evil authors will be broken that you will advance in the things of God that you will increase you will be fruitful I bring Amen. you fruitfulness tonight I pray that Amen. every every limitation upon your life by the instruction of God and by the direction of God you will break loose somebody they say I'm breaking loose tonight I'm and as you break loose, loose the power of God will be your visitation hallelujah then Gideon said again God do not be annoyed this time I will put the fleece down on the ground but let the uh, ground rather be wet and the fleece be dry and in the morning Lo and behold, I see the Lord performing a miracle in your house. Amen. I see the Lord taking away that tone in your flesh. Amen. I see the Lord giving you a gateway. And I see the Lord opening your eyes to the breakthroughs that awaits you. Somebody, Amen. there is a breakthrough knocking at your door tonight. Amen. Somebody in Jesus' mighty name. You are anointed from the crown of your head down to the sole of your feet. Amen. Lord, ah, and Lord, be merciful unto families. Lord, let Amen. the families be anointed by your power and your anointing. So Amen. God did it. Now, uh, 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 Gideon is a sword. Now, Gideon is sure to go to battle. So, in uh, 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 chapter 7, he said, Then Jeroboam, who is Gideon, the, the mighty warrior, the one who cast down, and all the people who were with him rose up early and, and camped beside the well of Aaron. Aaron. So that the, the, the north, so that, so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Moral in the valley. So now they, they are assured. But you know one thing? Gideon took 32,000 men. Obviously, if you are going to a battle, you don't go empty-handed. So he of took 32,000 men. And the Lord says, 32,000 men are too many. And tonight I came to tell you, they that are with you are more than they that are against you. Amen. Even though you may not see them physically, but God 
God being on your side is more than thousands of people. Amen. And if God be on your side, who can be against you? Somebody say, God is on my side. There is no God one is who can be side. against me. And Amen. even if they think they are against me, they will not succeed. Because Christ in me is the hope of glory. And because Amen. God is on my side, I am more than a conqueror. I'm speaking to victorious army. I'm speaking to people who, who know that it, at, at all times, if it is the 11th hour, God will come through. Amen. Do not be dismayed. Do not be afraid. And you know what uh, uh, the Lord did? The Lord said to Gideon, these men are too many. 32,000 are too many. Oh, what you think you need? And in the physical, I will need yeah. it as well. God says, I am more than everything. And God being more than everything, all that you need is the strategy of God. May God speak yeah. his strategy into my life, into yeah. your yeah. life, into the life of our families. Amen. If we are going to break all things, it doesn't take macho. It doesn't take how strong you are. It doesn't take many people. It takes God instructing you, take the bull by the horn. Destroy the bull. When they come against you, your father who, who was an idol worshiper will defend you. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, take it thousand men. Gideon, Gideon, listen to me once again. Now that you are convinced that I am the Lord, mm. there is nothing difficult for me. I am the Lord who is able to do all things. 32,000 men are too many for me. Do you know what I want you to do? <laughs> Say to the people, that 32 men, anyone who is afraid, yes. anyone who is fearful, go back. The, the war has not started. <laughs> Tell them, anyone who is fearful, go back. Wow. And there <laughs> and then, 22,000 uh, uh, turned back. Wow. And there was left 10,000 because 22,000 out of 32,000, 10,000. And God says, Gideon, you are dealing with the God of all flesh. Yes. You are dealing with the God who is able to do all things. Amen. You are dealing with the God who can fight with that man. You know, take them to the valley. He said, take them to the pool. Take them to the water. And then the one who will fall into the water and drink like a dog will lap with all what will be a insuncoma dinu. When they see the river, they want to even go into the river and drink. Anybody who will lap like a dog, anybody who will kneel in the water and drink, they are disqualified. But anybody who will put his hand in the water and be watching, be watchful, be yeah. alert for your adversary, is roaring like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. That's why we pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray always and God will hear you. Because some Amen. of the things, they are in the realm of the spirit. You cannot see it. But when you pray, God is able to do something. So there and then, 9,700 were those who were drinking the water like dog. Or they were drinking like people who have not drank water for years. 
And God says, let all of them go back. And they were left with 300. Hallelujah. God Amen. will orchestrate your victory. Amen. God will give you direction. Amen. And God will do something that will blow your mind. And God will restore unto you whatever the locusts, the cankerware, the caterpillar, the uh, pabaware are sitting. God will send his army. Amen. And God's army in the realm of the spirit are fighting for families tonight. Amen. And the hand of God is lifted upon the people. Jesus I think uh, verse 9 uh, to 12, if uh, DJ will read for us, uh, uh, Judges 7, 9 to 12. Judges okay, 300, uh, uh, 7, 9 to 12. Okay, one second. Judges 7, 9 to 12. Yes, please, sir. I read Judges 7 from 9. Yes. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Pura, your servant, and you shall hear what they say. And afterward, your hands shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura, his servant, to the outpost of the armed men who were in the camp. Now the Midianites and Amalekites, all the people of the east, were lying in the valley, as numerous as locusts, and their camels were without number, as the sun by the seashore in multitude. Amen. Amen. Now, God instructed Gideon, go down by night. But if you are afraid, God, he has not given me and you the spirit of fear. But God has given us the spirit of power, the spirit of love and of sound mind. So God, he was orchestrating, and God said to him, if you are afraid, go with yourself and pure. And he saw the uh, 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 Midianites, Amalekites, and all the people of the East, and they were numerous like locusts. But God, he said, let's see. <coughs> You want a sign, I'm giving you more sign. And 13, and when Gideon had come, there was a man telling a dream to his companion. Oh, God can orchestrate everything. And I see God of uh, an, uh, the orchestration. God is orchestrating in somebody's life. God mm -hmm. is turning the clock uh, 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 clockwise. And when it is to be turned clock, uh, 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 anti-clockwise for your for your uh, uh, for your purpose, he will do so. So Amen. when he say uh, 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 there was a man uh, who said to his companion, "I have had a dream." <laughs> To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread tumbled into the camp of the median, and it came to a tent and stroked it so that it fell and overturned, and the tent collapsed. God is making it obvious to uh, Gideon. May God make it obvious to you that the Amen. battle is not yours. The battle Amen. is the Lord's. And God Amen. has orchestrated your victory. So tonight, yes, join me if your voice is yours, actually. Join me in giving a shout to the Lord. A shout of Amen. praise, a shout Amen. of victory. I am Amen. victorious. I, I have overcome. The, the good things of God have Amen. been preserved Jesus. unto me. Amen. So he, he said, the camp collapsed. <laughs> oh, every camp of the enemy in your life is collapsing tonight. Amen. 
the hand of God is being upon is raised upon you. So Amen. he said the camp, uh, the attempt collapsed. Then his companion answered and said, "Listen to this small thing. If the Bible you are reading is yours, underline." Then his companions answered and said, "This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel, into his hand." God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. Into your hands, God has delivered your enemies. Amen. The son Amen. of Jacob, the son Amen. of Edward, the son Amen. of the uh, uh, top online radio, the son yes. of every Christian is being lifted tonight. Amen. And victory is our portion. Receive Jesus your victory. Man. Receive the power. Receive Amen. the anointing. God Amen. is doing a new thing tonight. I see somebody. The battle has been fought in the realm of the spirit. And God has collapsed their tent. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> 50. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and his interpretation that he worshipped. He worshipped. He returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of media into our hands. Hallelujah. Our time is running out. And, yes. and Gideon uh, adopted a strategy. The 300 men that were left, Gideon divided it into three groups. And Gideon was in one of the groups. Tonight, God has delivered your enemies into your hands. Amen. Tonight, the evil authors have been destroyed because God gave a dream to a man and the man spoke it. And God uh, strategically positioned Gideon at a place that God, uh, uh, Gideon had the, uh, uh, the dream and the interpretation. May God cause your mind to be elasticated. May God fill your mind with uh, interpretation. May God Amen. open the floodgates of heaven and pour Amen. out his blessings unto you. In and give your days. Whatsoever I do, if you read the others, you will see. He said, when I come out and blow the trumpet, blow it like I do. So God gave the uh, victory to the Israel, <coughs> and God deliver, uh, delivered the uh, uh, Midianites, the Amalekites. Every oppression of the enemy is coming to an end. Amen. And Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the house post of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch just as he had posted the watch and they blew the trumpets and blow the pictures that were in their hands they have a pitcher and a lamp and a trumpet may you will blow the trumpet tonight blow the trumpet because Amen. victory is your portion the Amen. lord has set you free the lord has disentangled the uh, device of the enemy. And the Lord Amen. has given you the victory. Somebody, your Jesus victory name. is on the way. Somebody, Amen. your family will not suffer anymore. That on the Mount of Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall Amen. be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Who God has spoken in your life. And bring you good tidings tonight and I bring Amen. you uh, liberation tonight. I speak the oracles of God into your life. The hand of God is upon you. The victory that God uh, as I swore you, it will not pass you by. Amen. Because uh, 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 the Bible says in Numbers 23 verse 19, God is not a man to lie. Neither Amen. a son of man to repent. What he has said, he will do it. What he has promised, he will do it. There is no divination, no enchantment, no sorcery spirit, no incantation that will prosper in your life. You are free tonight. The 
power of the enemy is broken. The altars of, of, of evil are broken. Everything that causes your children to go wayward is broken tonight. God is setting somebody free. God is Amen. bringing his anointing upon your earth. The freshness of God's anointing. Your own will be exalted like the own of the wicked. Uh, that, like the own of the unicorn. The own of the wicked is broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Power Amen. and might. Power and might. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Any oppression be set free. Amen. Any power of the enemy be set free. Symptoms Amen. of alignment of sickness. Every symptoms of sickness. Ah, may God send forth his word. And Amen. the word of God heals and delivers us from destruction. Tonight, I see name. somebody being delivered. I see Amen. family being set free. I see Amen. the community in which we live in, the borough of Newham, the borough of Baki and Dakiam, the borough of Leti, the borough of Acne, Water Amen. Forest, every in borough Jesus in name. the in the nation of Great Britain be affected by the word of God. We are Amen. not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because Amen. it is the power unto salvation. May there Amen. be salvation. May people come to the saving grace of Christ for the Amen. devil has blindfolded the people of God. But God is sending his anointing. God is sending his favor tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's pray for families. Dear families, I, I, I bring you under the uh, canopy of God. I present Amen. your spirit, your soul, you, the man of the house. Father, in the name of Jesus, may Amen. we cultivate the spirit of prayer. May the spirit name. of lust be taken off our shoulders. May in we cultivate the spirit of uh, uh, love. Well, uh, if any man loves his brother, God will favor him because Amen. God is love. Amen. If you say you love God mm. and you do not love the brother you see, you become a liar. And yes. the truth of God's word is not in you. Tonight, mm. you are set free. Amen. Oh, tonight, the pain is going. Yes. I see that pain. Yes, I see Lord. that bitterness. Yes, I see Lord. that head living you. Jesus name. You cannot mingle with people. Mm. People, you are afraid of people for what somebody did to you over the years. Today, God says, I have set you free. Today, Amen. God says, I have given you a new spirit. The Amen. spirit of God has come upon you. In Jesus the power name. of God is taking away the garment of fear, the garment mm. of purity. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tonight, Amen. you are there. Amen. Amen. You are there. I present to you Christ. That Amen. is the greatest thing, the greatest gift any preacher can give you. Any, yes. any, any believer can give you. Mm. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Amen. That same spirit is awaiting you. Jesus that same name. spirit is speaking into your situation. Amen. And God is inviting you to come. Amen. Come and drink of me. In For Jesus my water name. is everlasting water. For when you drink of my water, you will not test again. If you will but say, Brother Jacob, I want Jesus, that Jesus you are preaching about, to come into my life. Be my savior. Be my director. Right now, just purpose in your heart. And say after me, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight for I have heard your word. And your word is placing demand on my life. I am a sinner. Very well, I cannot save myself. I come to you just as I am. 
come into my life. Be my savior. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. And with my mouth, I'm making the confession unto salvation tonight. The Lord loves you. You are saved. You are born again. The Spirit of God is dwelling richly in you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the impartation. Amen. The Lord loves you. Let's pray for everyone. Father, thank you for receiving us tonight. Thank Amen. you for breaking evil bar uh, barriers or altars. Amen. Thank you for the dew of heaven has come upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Top Online Radio, I'm so Amen. grateful. DJ KB, God bless you and your family. Amen. We'll your way next week, Monday. Every Monday, 8.30, we are on. God bless yes, you. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dear listening viewers, uh, what can we say? Man of God, God bless you. God bless you. And replenish every energy, every oil, every anointing you've lost through this broadcast. I have one announcement, dear listeners and viewers. Reverend Vanderpoor is the leader of the Willing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer warriors, prayer intercessors. And they have Zoom meetings on Wednesday, 6 to uh, just 7 to 7.30 p.m. That UK is, time. Okay, yes. yes, and the uh, Zoom meeting IDs are on your screen. Um, the Zoom meeting ID is 716-399-85040. That is 716-399-85040. And the passcode is two, number 2, capital V for Victor. Capital S for Sierra, number eight, capital P for Papa, and small a for Alpha. Uh, if you are watching online, you can take a screenshot. It is an intercessory prayer meeting, and um, you'll be blessed. If you have any prayer requests that you want um, the network to help you pray about, um, you can send it to Reverend Van der Poy's number, I hope I'm getting the right number. Um, o, o seven eight six two seven right. one two yeah. five six nine. Yes, I've got. Let me repeat: zero seven eight six two seven one two five six nine. Yes, Again, sir. zero seven eight six two seven one two five six nine. So, if you send it to, um. This number, Reverend Bonaparte will be glad to assist you. If you want to join the network, you can call the same number as well. Amen. Man of God, God richly bless you. Bless and may you. He bless you and your family and your ministry. Amen. Amen. Uh, God, God willing, you. next week, same time, we will come away for another edition of In His Presence. Amen. Hopefully, we're going to treat a brand new topic. That's it. That's Have it. a great evening, sir. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like, yeah, um, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Chief for listeners and viewers, Reverend Jacob Van der Poy of the Willing Intercessors Network. It is a network of intercessors. So if you um, have any prayer requests, you can join them on the number we keep out. And you can call the number, the same number, if you want to join the network as well. Uh, this is DJKP, Top Online Radio UK. Uh, you can visit our website for more information on our programs, toponlinestation.com, toponlinestation.com. So many things over there. Before um, I break a part company with you, I want to uh, um, bring give you a few messages from our sponsors, Certified Accountants, Compassion Web Design. Compassion Web Design, they are web design professional website designers if you are in any part of the world and you need a website for your business for your personal for your church for your ministry if you need a professional website get in touch with compassion web design limited also certified accountant limited if you are in the uk and you need an accountant or a tax advisor 
they are number one in UK accounting and tax. And uh, wise man solicitors, they are also uh, legal practitioners in, in the UK. They serve um, everywhere as long as you are in this world and you can contact them through internet. Wise smart can uh, save you. So we will take a few messages from these sponsors. Don't go away. <laughs> Say then, and yet, and when you for a way a quarter war and renew a potocas emu, ya cassa, a lawyer for Antiminian, Mummy and Foy, immigration, and Semina, and called Diamond. Why smart solicitors? Why smart solicitors? And Renimo could draw for why smart solicitors? So what's not hard? Umbe Bauma on Saka on Crata, Nasuadi, a drone sua, a Yomoko cra, a bunny nipa sit nemu, any a Jumemun Sendia, Omu Dimua Hotelipa, Omu Omre, the many pebia. Why smart solicitors? always puts our clients needs first we specialize in all uk visa applications detention and deportation cases student and work points based work permit applications from both uk and abroad wise smart solicitors also deals with immigration law family law employment law civil litigation Ghanaian customary law commissioner of oath long residence and human rights applications outside the immigration rules don't wait till last minute wise smart solicitors for inquiry Call 0208016538384 Mobile 07946772439 Call our 24-7 line on 07931-411042 Address 8 to 9 Print House 18 to 22 Ashwin Street Dalston E83DL Overground stations are Dalston Junction or Dalston Kingsland for buses 67 76 149 242 and 243 Why smart solicitors for how bad dying now be un se ain fuchinie e bi di de bi e Do you need a professional website for your business, organization, or e-commerce store? Look no further. Compassion Web Design Limited is your number one stop shop. We are a team of marketing, graphics, and web designers with over a decade experience in building and maintaining websites. Our products are very user friendly, search engine optimized with multiple user permission levels, and are built with PHP and MySQL database. For more information, visit our website www.compassionweb.co.uk or call us on plus 44-0208-528-3077. Compassion Web Design, your professional web design partners. Is going to do my account and tax returns for me, cra certified accountants, certified accountants, certified accountants. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a medical guy, headdress, shop owner, or self employed? Certified accountant, and it was all coming with your And then we will say, when you will be a what bring our accounts and tax returns more. Now, bans are so more. Now, who are you? It didn't make up for certified accountant at the Yamaha. So, F accounts and tax returns, company accounts, bookkeeping, payroll services, charity accounts, and gift aid claim. As of all, what to a deal? Open internet certified accountants, self tax planning, business advice, company registration, and many more. And if you should watch your acquiring company, what you will cast out now, what you have to be a bro, what is the capudu of a bro, no bushia, certified accountant. Say say about us from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. Any more we hear Juma, our temporary workplaces in Nigeria. Mom friend, no one needs to put them up. Media, they have a decorum. They say H M R C four. I dey come to work. What me buau H M? I just answer. What is your address? One sixty London Road, Barkin I G eleven eight B B. Telephone zero two zero eight two two six four nine three three. Mobile zero seven nine five six eight zero four five one seven. Ah, certified accountant. Me humba ma me huwa chami. Mudi mpunti yo abba me duma yo. This is Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK, hailing from the eastern corridors of London. Bring you news, views, 
music, interviews, trending issues, and what have you. Tune in to us 24-7 on our free mobile radio app. Download our free app from the Play Store and the App Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. Download the free mobile app and tune in to us 24-7. We stream our programs live on Facebook and YouTube. Just find us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for Top Online Radio UK. We welcome your views, comments, critiques, suggestions, etc. Just get in touch on our station line 079-029-44398 That's 079-029-44398 If you are interested in working with us as a radio presenter, a radio host, or a radio panelist, do get in touch and let's talk. Call us on 079-029-44398. If you want to advertise on our radio, just get in touch and let's talk. 079-029-44398. If you want to sponsor any of our programs, get in touch and let's talk. Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK.